Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Git Good at Open Transport Tycoon. Now we've uh, made this uh, factory here, and lots of trains are now uh, bringing steel to it. So the factory will start uh, producing goods. Uh, right now there are no goods in the station because, uh, of course, no trains are surf surfacing this uh, station. So uh, in this episode, uh, let's transport our goods uh, somewhere. Now, unlike uh, most other uh, cargo types that get produced, uh, you don't bring goods to uh, to an industry, but you actually have to transport goods to a city. So, in order to see uh, which cities will accept it, we can just uh, make a station here. For example, you see Cheating Hatton here. You can see it has some really big buildings. And as I held this station uh, over the city, you can see uh, here it says accept goods. So if I would make the station here, uh, it would accept uh, goods and would be able to deliver it to the city. Now, of course, we don't want to build it right next to the factory because we want to transport our goods uh, to a far, far away place just so we can make uh, more money. Now, we could try to make it here. That's still a little bit uh, close to the factory. Uh, here would be a good place, I think. Even this place. But let's go look a little bit further. Now, here we have see a big city. The, here we could make a station for sure. Uh, except for that this uh, area is a little bit crowded already with rails. So it would be quite tricky to make a station here connected to the rails. And since it's already quite crowded, it would have quite a big chance of uh, getting gridlocked. Now, um, I actually spotted a city here, uh, right between some mines. And a factory that was not being surfaced uh, was just, uh, just closed here. So there's actually some nice space. Uh, right next to the city where we could uh, make a station and there's also some nice flat land here which is also important so I think we'll build the station here now uh, one reason why it would be tricky to build a station here is also that the land is quite uneven I would have to do quite some landscaping to make a big station here and that would probably also negatively uh, influence the the reputation I have with this city and then there would be a chance that after the landscaping they don't allow me to build a station anymore so yeah when you build next to a station it's always important that you place the station in the correct place the first time and it's probably the best if you don't have to do much uh, landscaping to place it in the first place but yeah this city uh, looks good also, you should keep in mind that if you build a station somewhere, then it could be that at some point during the city's development, uh, the big buildings uh, temporarily uh, get demolished or uh, while growing sometimes some buildings get uh, disappear or uh, they reappear later. It's just part of the development process. So then it could be that during this process at some point, uh, the city won't accept goods anymore for a while so yeah, it's always best to uh, keep as many big buildings within the radius of the station as possible so for example if we build four tracks here um, I think this would be a good location because quite a few of the big buildings are within our station range all right uh, I think uh, we can try uh, making the station now Let's go for six tracks here, just so we can later also transport goods from other uh, good producing factories. Now this coal mine will be a bit of a problem. I think I'll build it uh, right here. And there's actually some railroad track here. <laughs> ah, it's from over there. I don't know what that track was doing there. All right, this should be good. 
Actually, let's build it a little bit more to here. Uh, I hope I didn't remove too many trees. Okay, it's poor, but at poor, you should still be able to build a station. So let's do that. All right. And now probably this ruined my reputation altogether. It's now very poor. So uh, anything better than very poor, and you can still uh, create a station. If it's uh, worse than that, well, you can see it now. For example, if I try to uh, make a bus stop, they won't allow me to uh, to build it. So that's why it's important to build your stations uh, correctly the first time you place them. Alright, I will now just build a station for our goods. I will also uh, change the entry to this station. Just so we have a little bit more space here for uh, this more important line. Okay, now we just uh, want these good trains to go from seating hats and goods to the city. So we just let the trains go here, full out any cargo, and then we select the station near the city. And let's clone them a few times. Eight trains uh, should be enough. Let's hope I don't cause a gridlock here. Alright, let's fast forward the game a little bit. And here we can see the first goods trains uh, entering the station. Now it will take a while for them to actually load because uh, the factory will only start putting the goods on the station. Uh, as, well, if one of these good trains has actually uh, arrived at the station and now it's waiting for steel to be transported to the factory and only then it will put the goods here on the station so I can actually see a steel train coming in here and as soon as it's in it should uh, start putting goods on the station There you can see the goods uh, getting brought on the station and the trains uh, immediately start loading. Now I've probably created a bit of a traffic jam here, yeah indeed. <laughs> so uh, yeah, okay I did something silly here. So I will just tell this uh, these trains to all go to the next station just to uh, make this uh, traffic jam go away. Because uh, if we don't, then no steel will actually be brought to the station from, uh, from this side. You can actually see a steel train waiting here. And now it cannot pass these trains that were waiting here. So I will just tell them to move on and uh, then it can reach its destination and these trains can actually load uh, some steel, uh, some goods I mean. <laughs> but yeah, here you can also see a weak link in our network, because if no steel gets brought in for a while, there will be 8 good, good trains uh, 
waiting here blocking the network. So it would probably be wise if we uh, extended this uh, path here towards the station. So let's do that. So let's... By the way, if you didn't see my earlier episodes, you can move, uh, you can hide trees, buildings, bridges, bridges, etc. If you press the X button, that should come in uh, handy. So let's just uh, build a stretch of rail here and we'll just connect it here and then we can remove this piece. So now there's just a little bit more space for uh, any trains that have to wait before uh, entering this uh, station. Our reputation is now atrocious, which is the lowest level. There are actually ways to uh, make your reputation rise up. Uh, well, the most important uh, way is to just deliver lots of cargo to a city. Another thing you can do is uh, building trees. So if you place lots of trees around the city, your uh, reputation uh, should increase. So let's let's just try it. See if we can get the reputation to become better. <laughs> it takes quite uh, quite a lot of trees if your uh, reputation is atrocious which is the worst uh, you can get. Uh, look, it's now very poor, so it's uh, getting better. It's now poor. So yeah, they don't seem to care that... Uh, they actually seem to like that we're putting them uh, in a big forest. So yeah, right now we would be able to uh, build something again around the city. That's mediocre. So yeah, we're now uh, best friends again with this uh, with this city. First, it can be uh, quite expensive if you don't have lots of money, but uh, right now we do. Now, if you are worried about your uh, station uh, at some point no longer accepting goods because uh, because of uh, rebuilding in the in the city, uh, there are some ways to uh, increase the radius of. Uh, the cargo that your, well, the radius of the, indeed the cargo that your station will take. So if we want to increase the radius, we could, for example, uh, make, a, yeah, make a truck loading bay, or we could make a heliport. And let's see, I think this is an empty space here. So now we hold control and we. We hold control and we click here. Oh, there's a building. Uh, let me find a different spot. All right. We hold control and we click here. Then you can actually select a uh, station to nearby station to connect your uh, new truck stop to. So let's select uh, this one, Bond Pro Hot. And now this truck stop is actually connected to the station. And they will share the yeah the radius around them. So now we have the radius of the station here uh, plus the radius of the truck stop. So actually, the we are not actually using the truck stop, but uh, we are only using it for the coverage area it has around it. So now um, the coverage area includes more of these buildings. So we'll probably never lose. Uh, the option for this uh, station, the ability for the station to loot, to accept goods. So yeah, that's uh, that's probably a good thing. So yeah, you can here you can see there's a station, for example, that no longer accepts wood. Well, we didn't get any wood from the to this station anyway. But yeah, industries come and go, cities uh, also grow and may. Uh, your stations nearby cities may uh, sometimes change what goods they will accept. Now this uh, can also be useful if you uh, just have a passenger line in the city for example and you want to increase uh, 
the number of people that go to the station. Then you can link together several stations using this trick and then more passengers will uh, flock to your station. Now this city is uh, kind of in the middle of my rails here and this part of the network will become very crowded. So um, we'll probably want to use this uh, little village here later to transport our goods to but uh, right now we cannot transport our goods here because the village is just too small for that. So for that we need the village to grow. In the next episode I will show you how to, how to let your uh, cities and villages grow. And then later we can use this uh, village to transport our goods towards. Anyway, let's see how our uh, goods trains are doing. They're bringing in uh, lots of lots of money right now. Of course, some of them uh, are not profitable yet, but they will be uh, soon. And also, as you can see, uh, this is the wrong graph. In the cargo payment rates, you can see the orange line here are goods, and they are really high up in the graph. So transporting goods is also a great way to make money. Now let's see uh, how our uh, goods station is doing. So yeah, right now it's full of uh, trains loading. Um, later as we increase the number of uh, stuff that gets unload unloaded here, uh, these goods trains should be uh, always uh, yeah, just making a short stop at the station, loading up and then going around again. All right, and here you can see a goods train leaving the station again towards the city where it will uh, drop off stuff. Now this uh, factory as you can see uh, also accepts uh, livestock and grain. So uh, later we can probably also uh, drop off those at this uh, station. And then we should probably give it a new name. <laughs> so yeah, that's also something we will do in a later episode. Anyway, that was it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again in the next one. See you later.